Congratulations, Antoine. Thanks. <laughs> How are you enjoying Las Vegas? Oh, I live. You know, I'm on the strip. Is this your first time here? Of course. What have you been doing? Gambling. <laughs> How much have you been gambling? Thousands. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your have some credit cards. Give them a hide your money. <laughs> I'm having credit cards at, uh, for now. <laughs> What's it like being Antoine Dodson? This has just completely changed your life. How's it? Can you walk through the airport anymore? Oh my God, it's so crazy. Paparazzi swung me and my sister when we was coming in from, uh, from Huntsville here. It's been so crazy. It's like now, you know, I can't go to the store, you know, get up my uh, deodorant, you know, pick up a Rihanna album or something. Without <laughs> somebody like, oh my God, Antoine, oh my God, had your kid, oh my God, had your mama. You know, like, it just be so crazy. <laughs> Did you get tired of it or are you still loving it? I love it. Yeah. This would never get old. <laughs> <laughs> when, when did you first realize this was kind of blowing up and becoming this huge thing on the internet? Actually, when it, when it happened to my sister, they put it on there the next day on the internet. And somebody called me, I don't know if it was a friend or family member, and they was like, oh my God, Antoine, you have 306 views on YouTube. I was like, oh, okay, that's cute for me now. <laughs> you know, like, that's cute. And, you know, we watched it grow, and I was like, oh, my God, I live. What am I, I going to do, you know? And it just started hitting millions and millions. People started calling me. And so I can, uh, can you come to New York and do this? And I'm an assistant, and I'm a lawyer. And I was like, okay. I was scared. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. It was crazy. And how did you kind of decide? How do you decide which projects you wanted to do? Interviewing. I started interviewing folks. You know, I went to school for business and management, so. Mm -hmm. I got that on lock. <laughs> so basically, I'm not an idiot for all the little Twitter haters. And the Facebook haters said I was slow. I was not born and raised in Lincoln Park. <laughs> so, so how did the Gregory Brothers thing come about? What made you so intrigued by that opportunity? Actually, they had put like a couple of second song, uh, second song out. And I was like, who is trying to make fun of my family? Like, are you serious? I hated it. But, you know, after listening to it, after a while, I was like, oh, my God, this had, this had such a catch. Had your kids, had your wife. You know, like, I was living, so it became my <laughs> rain song. You know, we jig it to the beat, you know. <laughs> I was living. <laughs> so it's obviously a kind of serious subject, uh, what happened to your sister. But, I mean, ultimately, do you think good has come of it? A lot of good has come of it, but all of us need to understand that this did come from a serious situation. No, the idiot from Lincoln Park has not been caught yet, but I want to thank everybody for, you know, staying on the police, making sure that they did their job, you know, because a lot of fans was calling, you know, we don't play that. We clamming in your windows and we're going to get some information up in here, <laughs> you know. <laughs> now, you also did something. You launched a, uh, a mobile application um, for finding and, and locating sex offenders. Tell us about that. <laughs> The sex offender track out, it is so cool. You know, I have an Android, so I'm so glad they won tonight. So I have an Android, so I downloaded it. You know, I would actually use it in, um, on the strip, too, trying to see what was going down. <laughs> but basically, you just can locate any registered sex offender in the 10-mile radius from where you're staying. So that is really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Go get that. No, seriously, get that. <laughs> so what's next for you? I know you're working on an album. Yes, I'm working on an album. And I think a stupid you so dumb. <laughs> it is going to be so hot. And I, I think I'm going to start out with coming out with um, Get This Party Started because it's a really hot song. You're going to have you jigging on the strip. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Just getting in there. <laughs> Can we get a preview? Preview. Who wants a preview? <laughs> uh, get this party started. I'm going to get this party started. Get this party started, I'm gonna get this party started. Get this party started, I'm gonna get this party started. Get this party started, I'm gonna get this party started. Get this party started, yeah, I'm drunk, but I'm tipsy with a mob to the beat. And these bitches stepping on my sneakers, was gonna get into it, but the DJ played a B and B. Now I'm jigging, now I'm pipping, now I'm popping, now I'm dropping. Girl, I understand you don't dance, but this shit was knocking. Woo! <laughs> What's your goal for that one? 10 million views? How many views are you looking at? Uh, uh, 150 million, hopefully. <laughs> that would rival you with, like, Justin Bieber. I know. That's so cool. <laughs> right. I know it's so hot. 65 million views in five months. That's crazy. Oh, what my are, God. What are some of your favorite videos, some of your favorite viral videos, other than your own? Double rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> I live for that. So fashion. What about the old Spice guy? <laughs> Old Spice guy, that was good. That was good. 
Um, one question we asked, uh, we talked about earlier today. Who would play you in a movie about your life? Oh my God, it needs to be Prince Michael. <laughs> and his sister could play my sister, you know. <laughs> the Jacksons be the Dysons. That'd be so cool, wouldn't it? That'd be great. Like, Prince Michael played me growing up in Chicago, getting it in. <laughs> then I grew up. <laughs> I live, that's so fashion. <laughs> So what else you got going on, Antoine? I know you got a merchandise store. What else is in the works? At districtlines.com, my merchandise line. You got all types of stuff. If you're a cigarette smoker, get the lighter. But uh, I, I, got the, uh, I got the calendar coming out for 2011. Uh, I live. So fashion. <laughs> you so dumb, Mike. Get into it, Mike. I'm adding you out, Mike. You know, it's, it's just a lot of different activities in the month. It's going to be really, really exciting. So look forward for that on districtlines.com. Awesome. One last thing. Uh, any advice for the ladies in the audience that might be going out tonight? Hide your purses, hide your wallets, and hide your coach bag, because I'm taking everything around here. <laughs> Antoine Dodson, thank you. Thank you. I live so fashion. <laughs>